And now please say with me the second form of the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, 
in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. As a penance for today's confession, and as a, as a good work uh, that we can all do, I ask you to please pray for, for on this day, which uh, we celebrate peace coming into the world. Let us, in, in, the, in the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He who is peace, let us pray for peace in those areas of the world where there are troubles, where there are wars, where there are where there are disasters. There, there is just too many and too numerous to mention. And sometimes we can feel overwhelmed when we think of the, the suffering that goes on around us. But our Lord works through his people, and one of the strongest things that we have uh, that we can use in this uh, effort to extend peace is prayer. So I ask you as repentance not only to Pray the prayers of today's Mass, but during the Mass, offer prayers for peace in the world, for peace in Israel, in Palestine, in Ukraine, wherever there may be war or rumors of war, for those who are suffering because of national and man-made disasters. Let us pray that peace may truly be able to enter into the hearts of people, that God can work this miracle so that uh, joy that the joy that we feel in the birth of Christ may be felt by others. Let us pray this also as uh, our penance for today's confession. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I do absolve you from all of your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now let us rise and give glory to God on this beautiful Christmas day.
They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called frequented, a city that is not forsaken. This is the word of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. A reading from the letter of Paul, St. Paul to Titus. When the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the baptism of new birth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This Spirit he lavished on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs and hope of eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Share with them the message of the Christ child born, 
uh, to, to be the savior of all of humanity. So maybe we should try it, even if people look at us funny. But today we, it's the beginning of that time that we celebrate called uh, Christmas and Epiphany and the period after Epiphany all the way to the presentation of our Lord on February 2nd. While the rest of the world started celebrating Christmas right after Halloween and even before Thanksgiving started, they had, I mean, a secular Christmas was going on all over the country, all over the world. But starting tomorrow, we're going to see a lot of Christmas trees already in the roadsides, ready to be picked up by Man Manchester, uh, by, by the city of Manchester to be thrown away and burned. And, uh, but for those of us who observe the, the spiritual and the true meaning of Christmas, we begin today. And uh, today is the first day of Christmas. So uh, what, uh, for, for those of you who are uh, uh, gentlemen and, and spouses, remember that you, when you go home today, make sure you bring a partridge in a pear tree for your wife. But today is the first of the 12 days of Christmas, the period that runs until Epiphany, uh, in January the 6th. And the Epiphany is when we celebrate, at that time, uh, the coming of the Magi, the three kings, to worship and adore the Christ child. But we begin that all today, and we celebrate now as Christians, as Catholics, the joy of man, a God becoming man, the great mystery of the Incarnation, the gift God gave to all of humanity, by allowing his son to take on human flesh and in that human flesh to offer himself up and to die on a cross for us. It's a joyful time because although we realize that the cross is in our Lord's future 33 years after this celebration of his birth, but we know too that with that suffering also comes the liberation of mankind from all sin, the joy of uh, eternal life with Christ, that opportunity to go before God in judgment and hopefully to be chosen as a sheep and not as a goat, but to share in the glory and the joy of Christ forever in his heavenly kingdom. All of that begins very in a very real way today. And as you notice from uh, the readings today and also from the readings last night that we had during our Pastetica Mass, Jesus, Jesus, and especially during the Pastetica Mass, we hear the readings of Paul from his letter to Titus, and Paul is speaking in the present tense. He's not t talking in the past tense. He's speaking in the present tense, talking about Jesus being here now, that his effect is upon us now. Jesus is a reality, and he is among us now. Even as, as was said earlier uh, in, in his, uh, the continuation of the letter of Paul to Titus in today's Mass, we hear these words, This Spirit he lavished on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. So it's, a, it's an action that is occurring, that, not that it didn't occur in the past, but it's continuing. The manifestation of God's grace and power is always with us, is among us. Jesus, God, is always with us, not only through the presence of the, Jesus in the Eucharist that we celebrate whenever we have Holy Mass, but also in our being, our very being, through the Spirit of God that rests in us, the Holy Spirit that we received at our baptism and that was rekindled and reconfirmed in us in our confirmation. So God is with us. God is present. It's not that God was with us, but He is with us. And He is ever present and ever vigilant to care and to provide His love and grace to us. So this is what we celebrate too on this Christmas day. 
So if you take nothing else away from today's Holy Mass other than the beautiful church and the way it's decorated for Christmas and all that stuff, please also take away this important fact that God is with us today, now, in our presence, and that when we come forward to receive Holy Communion, God will be truly within us and we will be within God. And as Paul tells us, it tells, uh, his, it tells Titus in his letter to him, uh, he, he says, He saved us through the baptism of new birth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, uh, words that I had read before, and we become, by His grace, heirs in hope of eternal life. We become heirs, H-E-I-R-S. We become, if you will, uh, adopted sons and daughters of God. We become, we become the, the people who will, be received, who will receive the grace of God through the actions of our brother and our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is what we celebrate on Christmas. The joy that we have in the hope of resurrection, the joy that we have in the hope of eternal life with God our Savior, and it all begins with a little baby that is represented in the creche, in the Schwubeck in Polish, in the little manger scene that we have uh, uh, before the Sacred Heart of Jesus altar. So please go in after the Mass, go and offer a prayer at the creche. Uh, and thank God for the opportunity that we have to live with God uh, because he has come to live among us. May you all have a joyous and a blessed Christmas day and a Christmas season. And remember, when it's January 31st and you're checking out at a store, look at the, at the person who's serving you and wish them a Merry Christmas. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let us rise and let us together proclaim the faith that we share. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary, and he came man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders.
us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. and be a source of peace for us, as Jesus, who was born as a man, also shared in the Godhead. So may the partaking of these gifts fill us with that which is divine. We ask this in the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Christ our Lord. 
Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to be graciously to accept our offering and that of your whole family. And so order our days in your peace that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of his love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body which is given for you. excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands. He again gave thanks to you, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. resurrection and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence, a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar in the presence of your divine majesty, so that as many of us as receive from this altar the most sacred body and blood of your Son may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and sleep in peace. We remember especially all our departed loved ones who are not with us in this mortal life, in this Christmas day, but whom we pray for and who pray for us. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, life, and peace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen and grant to your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, Bless and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, and in him, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever.
Instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Shall I return to the Lord for all the graces he has given? 
Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord.
we have received with our lips, may we understand with our minds, and may this temporal gift become for us an everlasting healing. May your body which I have received and your blood which I have drunk cling to my innermost being and grant that no sin remain in me, whom these holy sacraments have nourished, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you. our understanding of the riches you have received we have received in him we ask this through the same jesus christ who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit one god forever and ever Christmas week. And Karen, if you would. 